we miss. And it's called synchronicities. You know, any of you had that experience where you're thinking about someone, maybe a family member or someone you haven't seen for years and years, you think about them, suddenly a letter comes through the post or the phone goes, pick it up and it's them. How hands up if you've had that experience? You see, most of you, that is a synchronicity. It might just be a coincidence, but Carl Jung, the great psychologist, called it a synchronicity because it's a meaningful coincidence. That's what I hope will happen over the next few moments. But I need something. I need someone to help me who's going to... Okay, yeah, what's your name? Sorry? Edward. I can't hear, sorry. You'd watch it float up like that. I don't want you to... I just want to... Try to imagine, see the picture, like if there's anything on it, anything, if it smells, I want you to... Okay, so screwing your face up, I have no idea what... Alright, okay, I've got something. I don't know, looks to me like... Um... Okay, call it out, what was it that you, that you drew? A tree! Did it? Was it like that at all? How similar to it? Open it up, Oh my god! Is that pretty close? <laughs> Let's take this as is psychic, but I always leave open 1% that the genuine experiences of synchronicity, which always, always, always happen. All right? Now, that, it's not weird and psychic and stuff, you know, and sort of scary. It just happens. And I bet you that one of you, before the end of um, you know, today, will, will, will kind of, something will strike you that is more than just a trick. And it won't be anything that I've done, it'll be what's already inside of you. Because that's my other philosophy about magic, about magical performance. And it goes, it's the same as being a priest, to be honest. One of the things that winds me up sometimes about some kinds of formal religion is it all happens up there, like almost on a stage or up at the altar or whatever. But actually, it should be about what's going on inside all, all of you, you know? And it's the same with magic. It's not about what I'm doing. You know, it might be kind of fun, and you might think, wow, that was a good, fun time. But actually, it's not how clever I am, it's what's happening inside you. You are the magicians, not me. Because the, the power of the imagination is what makes magic possible. And what I want to encourage all of you to do is believe in yourself. Believe in, you know, the, 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 your own magical qualities, your own um, abilities. Because so many people, especially, to be honest, your age, um, they get filled with this negativity, you know, and the, the culture that we're in today is so perfectionistic. You have to be absolutely Mr. or Mrs. Perfect, but actually you don't. Every single one of us is perfect as we are. Yeah? Uh, do you get all of your stuff from down the ground? Kind of stuff? I, yeah, I mean, all magicians get inspired by Darren Brown. He is the best there is in the world today, and, and most magicians who do this style would say that. He is incredible. Um, but I think what happens with, with magic, and with any hobby really, it becomes your own. So, you know, all the tricks come from the same principles, but over time it becomes, you add your persona to it and, and your interests. So I love psychology, I love spirituality, I love mythology, so I try to build all that into what I do. So yeah, but it, it does, it certainly comes from his, his thing. Yeah. I'm going to leave you to ponder on that. Because <laughs> otherwise, if I, if I spell that out too much, blow bubbles instead of confetti, which is really, I find it really magical, because inside every bubble is the colours of the light spectrum. So they're like little, um, little symbols of, if anyone remembers the, um, the story of the rainbow in the Old Testament, it's all about promise and hope. So a little... Little hope wishes, I call them. And this sounds very twee and very childish, but I don't think so. I think, it's, I think everybody, no matter what age you are, teenagers, young adults, or my age or older, we all need to rediscover the power of wishing. Because it's just trying to make reality, make your dreams into realities. And um, I think we could do with a bit more of that. So I, I blow these quite often at the end of a show, just to say to you, hold on to your own magic. Hold on to your own wishes, your own dreams. Because all dreams can become reality. You see? Now, every dream can become real. Really can. You 
manifested when you wish it, when you believe it. This is, I wish I had a hundred of these, I'd, I'd give you all one to take home, but I, I can't, I'm afraid. But you have all got one, inside here, inside your imagination. Can I do it again? No, I'll do something else though, which will be similar. This is, this is a, a symbol of our wishes, what we give off to the universe, if you like. I'm going to give you a symbol now of something that comes back to us from above, whatever that means. Um, you've probably, I'm going to do it over here because I'm going to make a mess of it. You've probably um, all made one of these before. Um, a snowflake from a paper doily, paper doily snowflake. Um, I love these because they're a little bit like those bubbles that I just blew, but even more magical because these really do come from above. They, they float down, sometimes they cause havoc like they have been recently, but actually a snowflake has always been seen as a symbol of the human race because all snowflakes are different to each other. Every single snowflake that floats down from above is unique, it's different from every other one. And so that's a sign, that's a symbol of the human family because we're all different and we're, rightly so, we should all be, we're all unique, but we're all totally beautiful, every single one of you is worth a million dollars or more. So, we're probably not going to see snow again until next year now, I hope. But I want you to remember this image and remember that you two are magical just wow. like snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> I promised I wouldn't make too much mess, so that's enough. Thank you ever so much. It's been lovely being here.